Hey friends, thank you guys so much for stopping by. Uh, last night was a, I don't want to say devastating because devastating is too strong of a word, but yeah, last night, no lady here, lady here, here, inside, come on. Last night we had um, some tornado warnings that came through last night in Morgan County, Alabama. Um, our house did fine. We have um, just some big limbs down, some small limbs down, nothing too serious. It doesn't look like anything's down in the front of the house, but in our pasture area, um, we do have a pretty, like maybe a half a tree that fell. Um, everybody seems to be doing okay though, so no problem there. Um, our neighbors, they seem to be doing all right except for one of our neighbors. Um, they had a really big poplar tree land um, in front of their house, but some of it hit uh, the front corner of their porch. So my husband's actually over there now helping to uh, take it down. And um, it's a really, really wide tree. So young, old, it doesn't matter. Taking a tree of this size down on your own is a lot of work. So my husband went over there and uh, they are chainsawing it and taking it down. And <laughs> we have no electric. I have no idea when our power is gonna get turned back on. Um, I know that there is a few cities around us that do not have electric. So this should be fun. Uh, first day of spring break for the kids and they're already going stir crazy but they're making a fort right now I do not know how to turn on the generator um, so my neighbor was gracious enough to ask me if I wanted to come over and have some coffee so that's what I'm doing y'all I am going to get me some coffee I took care of the animals this morning so my husband can come over here and you can see that the tree root ball split in half and I guess half went on the driveway here and the other half went towards their house. Goodness gracious. Oh, cause it's kind of like a double tree. I see. It was probably two trees that were just very close together. But this is our side over here. You can see Sergeant. Hey, buddy. Hi. And it's just kind of messy in through this area. Oh, that's a power cord. So some of the power line fell right here. Look at this, you guys. Holy guacamole. That is nutso. I'll go on this side. Goodness gracious. Oh, yeah. You could see how it hit the top of there. Look at that. Just split in two different directions. That is wild. Goodness gracious. Yeah. Hopefully, I don't think it did too much to the roof. I think they got lucky. I think they got lucky, guys. So that's pretty insane. So we're just going to drink some coffee. Maybe come out and help pick up some of the smaller limbs and get this stuff picked up. And, uh, yeah, craziness. So pray for the people in our area. So friends, to say the least, it's been an eventful morning. Um, as you saw, I got the generator up just enough to make myself another cup of coffee. My neighbors were gracious enough to get some coffee started and stuff, so I was able to get a cup of coffee over there. 
Um, I kind of just wanted to try out the generator to make sure that the generator worked and and the generator does work just fine. Um, it is connected to our gas, uh, which we have a, I think it's like a 500 gallon propane tank. And that's what our generator runs off of. But um, Antonia was able to help our neighbors take that tree down. They got very lucky. It just barely skimmed their front porch. Um, they do have some damage. Their, uh, their gutter needs to be replaced and some of the wood underneath the, the roof line does need to be replaced. And also um, some of the railing in the front um, of their, their porch also needs to be replaced. But they got very lucky that when that tree came down, the big branch that was there, as soon as it touched, it snapped and flung a different direction because if it didn't break it would have completely collapsed the roof the roof of their house so they were very blessed actually um it's a lot of work but for the most part um their driveway is cleared and the area that is uh around their porch is also cleared we fared very well here um we also got very blessed we don't even have uh, m many tree limbs down at all. The only area that we have a tree limb that came down is in our pasture, like I said earlier. You can see over here. Lady, move. So the goats are going to sit here and eat as many of the pine needles as they want. Goats absolutely love pine bark and pine needles and it's very good for them so we will not discourage them from eating it. Um, my husband said he's just going to kind of let them eat a little bit and then he'll come out here and clean up some of this mess but um, our walkway is blocked so he's definitely going to have to come through here and you could tell there's some you know some dangling tree limbs um, and it's still breezy outside I'm really surprised that this dead tree here has not come down yet I think it's because of all those vines really it's kind of like holding it together we are still without power and I don't know when the power is gonna get turned back on it's been off um, since last night, uh, well, I should say it's been off since early this morning, probably about three o'clock, three thirty or so. Um, that's when the storm kind of whipped through here. Uh, I think it was, I believe it was around four, four thirty when the storm came through. But we are kind of blocked in here. Um, one of our main roads that leads us to the like interstate road or a main road to get into the city that road is not blocked so 231 is not blocked however our road out here west view has a tree down blocking the road so you can't get through there and also um, there are power lines down on the back end so you can't you can go through the back side but you have to be really careful because the lines are down tree damage but this is crazy guys, all of these trees, look at this, all of these trees fell in their yard. Is that wild? Absolutely crazy. I had just turned down our street, so that's to kind of show you how close it is. I don't know if Antonio is going to go back and help them just clean up the rest of it or not. I know he's very hungry, so he had to come home and get something to eat. Oh, here it is, guys. The chemtrails are now up and going. Look, there's one there. There's one there. Always after a storm. Pay attention. After the storm, you will see chemtrails everywhere. Do some research on it. But... Yeah, there's the other half. The kids are bored out of their mind with no 
no TV, but they're making it work. And they're playing with the goats. Can you move that bark stuff right there and then move that other little limb? Yeah. And then bring that other little um, stump. Yeah. It should go the other direction to where they can't jump on it and roll it over. You see where that stumpy part is? No. The stump that kind of sticks out a little bit. Turn that towards... No, 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 no. Just turn that towards the ground. All the way. Turn it now. There you go. Now bring it all the way in. There you go. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to push you off there. So we got the babies out. Going to clean up the barn. The barn actually fared very well. Ever since we put the... The drainage in the back, um, things have been flowing really, really well back here, except for this small little puddle spot right here. But other than this little puddle right here, that's it. That is it, and that is really good. This guy's doing much better. He comes and goes with his uh, temperament like this morning. I think he was very shocked, maybe, or I don't know, just kind of seems under the weather again. Um, I don't know if the tornado weather kind of freaked him out or what, but he was a little just really sleepy. So he gets an all-you-can-eat smorgasbord. We just kind of let him do his thing, and we think it's possible that he may be partially blind. I don't know. Something, something's definitely off with him. But for right now, he's doing good. All the chickens are doing fine. Where's the rest of them? They must be in the coop. Yep, they're in the coop. I can hear them. Everybody out here is doing fine. We do have a rooster that is not doing good at all, guys. The other hens are picking at him. If you notice the hair missing from his chest, that is from the other hens pecking at him. Our hens, I believe, are cannibals, you guys. They have major issues with attacking each other. Apparently, we like white roosters around here because we have a few. We have this one here. This one here. Which this guy is sizing up the other guy right now. We have the one that's not doing so hot in there. Hey girls. Hi. What's the matter? It's okay. You're all right. So we don't have any eggs yet. We'll have some eggs by this afternoon. We've been getting about, oh, I think we've been getting probably about eight to 11 eggs a day. Mostly from these girls in here that are enjoying my shoes at the moment. All right, move it, move. You cannot go out there. Nothing happened back here, so that's good. And there was no other limbs down. Even in the yard, just very small limbs, nothing major. Everything looks the way it normally does. No new trees down that I can see. Not even in the back there, so just crazy. Crazy how that thing just completely passed over our house. I'll tell you what though, guys. Last week, there was um, an EF1 tornado that came through our area literally just about maybe not even three minutes from our house just right down the road and then this week another one I don't know if it's actually been recorded as a tornado yet um, I haven't heard anything but this one did some damage to our neighbor's house obviously that's a really huge tree that came down so this is an area that my neighbors will tell you they've been here for over 40 years and there has never been any tornadoes that have come up here on this mountain 
and all of a sudden two tornadoes or ish because we did have a, a tornado warning last night and my husband said it sounded like a tornado um, it was very very loud so that's kind of interesting we are without electricity um, I do have internet service though on my phone so that is good hopefully we get our electric back soon and we're not without it for the whole spring break today is the first day officially first day of spring break and the kids go back to school in 11 days so it's uh, not the greatest way to start their spring break but we don't have any major things planned I was gonna do some fun stuff with them some walking trails or something like that but nothing major planned one thing when the storm was coming through both last last week and this week my husband and I both prayed like you know just praying for a shield of protection over our house over our family over our yard over our animals um, so you know I mean I would have to say that prayer does work I know it does I've, I've had my prayers answered I am a firm believer that God is real I know that for a fact um, he has brought me out of too many dark places for me not to think that he's real and I believe uh, you know that Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior and God is good all the time he will not leave me nor forsake me and you know he says that uh, when you you pray and you know Bible verses um, when you know verses of protection and of your shield and of your armor and you know if you know those verses in the Bible and when it comes down to it and you need God to be there pray those verses and I'll put some up here on the screen for you guys but pray those verses and you will be covered you will be protected he will put his shield over you and um, God's Word is a mighty sword so you have to use it that's why it's there he tells us to use it so in the time of need we definitely use it but we use it all the time we don't just pray when we don't just pray when there's trouble we pray all the time because we know that we have to be fervent and be in the word at all time not just when you need him in the morning in the middle of the day at night be grateful be thankful um, always let him know how much you love him always let him know how grateful you are for everything that you have the roof over your head your car that you drive to work every day your job your kids your family the food in your belly always be grateful for everything that you have and then when you when you come to him always then when you need him he's definitely going to be there for you i just say food no. No. well my mom is the master chef i think my mom's a master chef oh, yeah. because she kept she cooks a lot of things like boil and salsa for example that's pretty hard to make or let's see another one the little bread thingies mm -hmm. no um but we made something of our own today it's like goes on our bread or whatever oh, you made like a uh a, a spread say, like a spread like a spread on our bread mm -hmm. <laughs> spread on the bread. like um, toast yeah although like, we didn't have it we didn't have a way of making any toast but they had some bread and they wanted to they wanted to sugar. cook something but knew that they couldn't really cook because we have no electricity so you guys made some sort of like a yeah, it's very really sugary. For a some sugary. It was kind of like a cinnamon sugar, honey, honey yes, coconut. Honey. I don't know, guys. When kids are bored, you just kind of let them do what they want. So we haven't been affected by the weather, but our area has been, and um, it's just been wild, you guys. This is stuff that just doesn't happen in this area. So I don't really know what to say about it. Just uh, keep us in your prayers. Keep my neighbors in your prayers. And that's it. I've got to go get something off of Daisy's tail. She, she has a thorny vine thing stuck to her tail and it's driving her crazy. So I'm going to get out there and get that off her tail and, um, and help my husband. So it is the next day. Yesterday we got a bunch of stuff picked up in our 
like pasture area we got a lot of the the bigger sticks picked up but the wind started picking up and we had a wind advisory until 7 p.m. last night so there wasn't really a whole bunch that we could do we ended up just kind of taking a break so today um, and plus Antonio was pretty tired from doing the tree at the neighbor's house today we are getting out here and we are going to be cleaning up the big limb that fell and uh no lady sorry this lady gets so upset when she can't come into the pasture but uh, I just can't keep all eyes on her and I don't want to risk anything so this huge limb right here is basically half of a tree it goes from here even back there and all the way to right there so um, it actually comes over this way the kids have been cleaning up a lot we did a lot yesterday of cleaning up whatever we could but the rest of it we definitely need to cut it with a chainsaw we have a nice pile over here we also have a huge pile over there on the other side that you can kind of see from over here but then we also have another huge pile that um, we did that's way back there so we have a lot of burning that we need to get done today there is no breeze which is really good it's about 54 degrees outside so it's good weather to be out here gonna say yes and also we're gonna move all these sticks to that pile is that what we're, daddy said no we're, we just kind of decided on it since we're getting all of this stuff cleaned up i'm gonna try to get out some um like either loppers or something like that and clean up some of this this other like dried up dying brush that isn't coming back yet there's a lot of thorny we call them jerks but i don't know it's an invasive plant that has thorns on them um it, they don't produce any flowers or anything like that that i'm aware of but they're really just a pain in the butt so they are very rooty though no matter how much you cut them i swear they come back all the time you really have to get down deep but i'm gonna try to cut those out the best that i can and like a lot of this stuff where it's like it's just half dead anyways the the cows have pretty much just mauled over them and i'm gonna clean up this area right in through here maybe take down some of these skinnier pines right here any of the really skinny trees i think i'm going to go ahead and just take those down since we're going to be burning um as long as my husband doesn't get upset about that i will get his little sawzall out and get those cut down so it's nice and cool out that's a good thing even though we're in spring it is 54 degrees so it's actually a good day there's a little breeze in the air but it's a good day for burning and having a really good fire going so uh, I'm going to go ahead and get myself some gloves. I'm going to go grab his Sawzall and um, maybe a rake. These are the jerks that I'm talking about. Um, so these are very thorny, very hard to handle. I have, like I said, I have no clue what they're called, but they're very invasive. They vine. You can see they're vined up all the way up this tree and... But yeah, we'll try to clean up this as well. We'll see what happens.
I won't actually know until I get to editing this video how much of what we did you guys saw, but I will go ahead and kind of show you what things look like now. Don't mind my red face. I get super, super bright red. I always have, even when I was skinny, I used to get a bright red face, so it's just what happens. But let me turn you guys around and I'm gonna show you what things look like. Like you would say, well, why didn't you take out these vines here or take out these weird looking vines here? Well, the reason why we don't do that is because these vines, these are muscadines. And um, same thing with these over here. These are all muscadines. I believe there's some in here as well. Unfortunately, we did take out most of the muscadines that are were over there. We did clean up some of the brush that is along the fence line. There was a down, tr a huge tree limb that was laying down in through here. But there was a um, there was a big tree limb that was laying over this fence here. So we cleaned just all of that up. It looks really good actually. It's hard not to take down these vines here though. I, I do understand how ugly they are. Trust me, I get that. But it is all like entwined in this tree right here. And the muscadines fall and you could just pick them right up off the ground if they're fresh. Um, the animals love to eat them. So we leave it for them. We love to eat them. There is a mixture of the jerks, as we call them, the dark, those dark green vines are the jerks, but those are so entwined in these trees, it would be impossible to get them out. So we just did the best that we could to take them out. It is muscadine. So the muscadine vines all the way up and through here and kind of like goes across that way and vines up into the other trees too. So as much as I would love to take down this hanging vine right here, I can't because it's muscadine and it's food and they're delicious. And I really just don't want to do that. It would, it would break my heart to not have muscadines. This pile here, because they absolutely love the pine needles and believe it or not, we love the pine needles too. We use the pine needles to make um, pine needle tea, and it has some massive benefits with that, doesn't it? Yeah, it's, it's higher vitamin C than orange juice. Oh, really? It has a lot of, I can't believe it. <laughs> I, I did not like it. Yeah, it's just really medicinal. Um, if you know anything about pine, pine is just really good for you. Really good to ingest. Like I said, we make the pine needle tea. We just take the freshest of the pine needles, and we chop them up. We put them in some water. And um, you do it with the green pine needles, not the brown pine needles. You want them as green as possible. And you're not drying them out or anything like that. You just use them fresh off the tree and you just steep it like you would a tea. We add honey, sometimes we add lemon to it. I highly suggest that. This tree limb falling actually didn't, oh, you can see it now. Let's see, you see that right there? That's where that huge tree limb fell from. And you can see how high up that is. Let me block the sun a little bit. But that is way up there. So that tree, when it, that big piece of tree fell, it came right down behind where he's sitting. And uh, it was huge. It was really big. So this is, this is stuff we're keeping from it. That's what we're letting the animals eat for the next couple of days. Then we'll burn it. Whatever they don't eat will burn. There's still a couple of logs behind him. I think he came from close to the front of the house or somewhere. But it's funny because our Muscovy ducks are like, they're considered chocolate in color, but they're brown and white. That when they, and their heads are white. So sometimes they look like bald eagles when they're flying in. So it's kind of funny. Uh, you have to really look quick and you're like, what the heck was that? Because we do have bald eagles that fly around here. Um, so 
it's just kind of funny. And you can see, uh, this is something that I'm really liking. Um, so we've been putting the, the mud from the winter season that came in our paddock area over there. And we've been bringing it just over in this section. And the animals are no longer walking just anywhere. They have made a path, it seems, and they're walking just along the edge right here. They're not walking in that, so that's really good. And the reason why that's really good is because if you look over here, look at all this grass that's starting to grow in from where we threw the dirt. So that's awesome. Again, this stuff, hi pretty girl. This dirt was a mixture of just hay and um and manure so look we're getting grass it's no longer dirt or muck so that's cool hopefully this will start to grass up too if they keep on using this trail on the outside here we'll see are you enjoying rubbing on me my two my two besties whenever i'm outside these are my bestie girls aren't you? I honestly don't think that either one of these are pregnant. We have been trying and trying to get these girls pregnant. Um, but honestly, I swear she keeps on flagging her tail. Yesterday, my husband said he saw her mounting her. So, uh, yeah, I don't think that they're pregnant. I don't know what's going on with these two. What do you want? Hmm? What do you want? What do you want? What are you doing? Get down. Get down. What are you doing? You guys are pains in the butts. I got this one eating my shoe. Hmm? So we had a burn pile over here, which you guys saw earlier, but that's finally getting burnt down. This pile was completely gone, but because I've been cleaning up, I ended up grabbing a bunch of the logs that were right in through here. All of the logs were kind of sitting here, so I moved them and put them over here. My husband helped a little bit. I have the physical ability to do it, and it's gorgeous outside. My husband did say we have a 95% chance of rain tomorrow, but the weather people have been known to be wrong. Um, yeah, so tomorrow's going to be another hard day at work. Round two. <laughs> I'm not going to film it all for you, but I will show you guys the aftermath. Then, oh my gosh, she's biting my butt. What are you doing? I know the goats are going to be ready to come in soon. Look, yesterday we cleaned up their stalls. So they all have nice clean stalls. And today, hey mister. Hey Jive, buddy. Jive, you look good. You look happy and healthy, mister. As long as I'm not hurting too much tomorrow from all of the work from today, I know my shoulders are going to hurt me and my lower back is probably going to be a little painful but I'm gonna try to push through it take a couple of leave and get back out here as long as the weather is good hey guys it is day four it is April 4th since the storms came through and I'm really trying to get this video edited and get it out to you but God told me to take a rest because yesterday while I was working I got something in my eye either a piece of sand dirt bark who knows what it was but I had to take my contacts out um, and give my eyes a rest because I have like some sort of little infection going on on my right eye. It'll clear up by tomorrow, most likely. This is not the first time this has happened. Um, but I can't be out here working with my glasses on. But before I get to showing you everything that I had gotten done, um, I wanted to tell you just really quick that Chubbs went off to a new home he is doing absolutely fantastic. His new owner is amazing and um, we're gonna seriously miss him. It affected me a lot more than I had expected. And that I'm gonna do a tribute to Chubbs 
so make sure that you're watching out for that video it should be coming soon I don't want to talk about that too much because it is an emotional subject so turn you guys around now and show you what everything looks like it's really amazing so all of this has been evened out and cleaned up for the most part so grass is going to start growing here shortly um, I even smoothed out some of this just to give it a nicer slope but things are looking really good the grass is going to start growing and now that Chubbs isn't going to be in here rooting everything up um, it's going to have a chance to grow this is the part that really amazes me is over in this direction my husband came out with his chainsaw just to cut like two or three things down that I couldn't do with the saws off but I want to show this to you because I am just so happy with the way that it looks. I cleaned up all of the nasty debris that was in through here. A lot of the debris that we had in through here was from when during the summertime we had some drainage issues with our creek that came through. So a friend of ours came over with a tractor and just trenched all this out for us. There are some vines in through this area here because they're intertwined in these trees and they're very hard to get out. We took down some little, you know, wimpy trees. We had all of this stuff burned up, but we made another pile here. I made another pile over here, and I took down a lot of the little skinny trees that were over here and just evened out everything. You can see there is another pile. I was really debating on taking those two trees right there um, which I'll probably come back and honestly take them out. These vines that are up here in this tree, I had to cut them halfway uh, just because I couldn't rip them out. But here's another thing that I did yesterday. I cleaned up this side only of the goats. There's another pile. But look how clean it is in there. I don't know if you guys remember what it looked like before. But this is a huge difference, like massive. There's no more vines. So all of these are pretty much just roots and vines that were in here. And all of this was clear, like completely smooth and flat. But that guy over there is getting back to work, I see. But this is really amazing, amazing soil that's over here. I even came up in through here and just raked a lot of this stuff up and cleaned it out um, a lot of these leaves I purposefully put it over the roots there's a root right here where my foot is so I put the leaves around it sometimes when you put the leaves it'll turn into dirt then maybe some grass will actually grow over here because there is plenty of light to allow some grass to grow I was going to work on this area over here today, but like I said, God must want me to take a break because um, I've been working really hard for the last three days. My bridge to get me from this side to the other side, but it's scary walking over. It. <laughs> yeah, so that's, yeah, that's a very skinny narrow bridge but it works it does the job it's just a little scary so i was like i was saying i was going to come over here this is you see all these little twigs and stuff it was 10 times worse on that side i think we need to just move tiny tim i think we'll maybe we'll put him in with peppa but the problem is this guy is an escape artist he gets out of everything hi peter Peter will come say hello, won't you? Yeah. Peter's a good boy. He doesn't try to bite. Hmm. Moving the hay around. Moving Tiny Tim. The goats don't root. So as long as there's no rooting going on, grass should be able to grow just fine. I'm going to have to get out of this section or else these boys are going to um, jump all over me. And I really don't want to be jumped on right now. 
And of course, now they're going to follow me. It's so funny. When I was in here working yesterday, they did not come after me at all. They didn't jump on me not one time. They didn't bother me. They let me do my job. And I got a lot of it done, which is completely awesome. It was really nice not being bugged by them. But I have been working my butt off, like I said, for the last few days. And sometimes it takes a storm to really get you motivated to get out and do the things that you know that need to be done. And I know I've probably said a million times now that we're moving. So anyways, we're trying. It's really hard to spend so much time and energy on something that you know is not gonna be yours in the future. But sometimes you have to get all this stuff done in order for people to really see the beauty of the land Although every time someone comes here, they're like, oh my gosh, I absolutely love the land, love the land, love the land. But anyways, it's, it's a home that is only going to be for special people who really like the style of it up in the air. And what do you think? Should I take down those little skinny trees there? Maybe not this one right here, but I think I'm going to take out these probably those the more light the better man it's so amazing how much sun actually does come in through here it never used to be this much sun you guys there was so much shade in this area there was absolutely no way any grass was going to grow at all but I know that grass can grow over here because over there where the hay is there is grass starting to grow right there. All hay has seed in it. So when you spread the hay that's been spent or what the animals are not eating, if you wanna save yourself some money without going out and buying seed, just take that old hay and instead of burning it or you know composting it, you can reuse it to get your grass to grow. So that's what we're doing. But I just wanted to share this with you. It was a lot of work. Maybe you guys don't see how much work it really was. But it was a ridiculous amount of work. And it really looks good. But this is the area that I really think needs to be cleaned up. The problem is, is the muscadine. All of this. This is all muscadine vines. So it's really hard to come in through here and clean all of this brush up. Because you really don't want to get rid of it. Of such a wonderful fruit that you know it's it's already established and doing amazing every year we get tons and tons and tons my crazy uh, this is what I do you guys when the weather is nice outside I want to be out here working on my yard in the I like to get my hands dirty I am an earth sign I like to be in the dirt I like to be growing things which that reminds me of something, but we'll do that in another video because I have to show you guys something, which is really exciting. But, all right, I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you all so much for hanging out with us today. We hope that you enjoyed this video of watching us and our crazy weather aftermath. And um, until next time, you guys be blessed. We'll see you then. Take care. Bye-bye.